YouTube. Welcome to my guide for Jets in Battlefield 3. The Jets in Battlefield 3 are an extremely powerful weapon if you know how to use them. The four Jets in Battlefield 3 are the Su 35BM Flankery, the FA 18 Hornet, the Su 25TM, or also known as Su 39, and the A 10 Warhawk. All Jets can have the following attachments with the points behind to unlock. The IR flares, which divide, uh, divert incoming missiles, 300 points. The heat seeking missiles, times 2, 700 points. Stealth, 1500 points. Belt speed, 2700 points. Proximity scan, 4200 points. Rocket pods, 6200 points. Air radar, extremely useful. 8600 points, extinguisher, 11, uh, 1,600 uh, uh, points, maintenance, 19,000 points, guided missiles, 24,000 points, beam scanning, 29,000 points, the EMC jammer at 35,000 points, and below radar, which is a permanent upgrade you get always, uh, which is always active, and, and it doesn't take up a slot in your attachments for your jets, at 15,000 points. Now, going on to the jets themselves. <coughs> the Su-35 uh, Su BM Flankery is and the FA-18 Hornet are only available in the Conquest mode on several maps. The Su-35 BM Flankery is a Russian-made multi-role fighter with a great handling and firepower. Its max altitude in Battlefield 3 is around 900 meters. But be very careful when you're approaching this altitude, as your plane will stall and you will be hanging in the air like a sitting duck for someone to pick you off. Uh, yeah, the max speed is around 400 miles per hour, but it's not really accurate while well, I'm close, because the real jet goes around Mach 1.8, which is uh, is it twice the speed. It's armed with a 30mm uh, GSH-30 auto cannon with 150 round magazines. And if you fire it in full auto for around uh, 4 seconds, it needs a cooldown of 4 to 5 seconds. If you use belt speed, which reduces the speed to 2 to 3 seconds. Uh, this is, however, not really effective as your pass should be around 5 seconds for you to avoid being locked up by stingers or Igla missile, depending on which side you're fighting on. My recommended loadout for the Su-35 BM Flankery is the Rocket Pod, or Guided Missiles depending on your own choice, for destroying vehicles as the cannon on the Su-35 and the FA-18 Hornet are not as powerful as needed to destroy vehicles on their own. For defense, we need the Air Raider to see incoming hostiles, uh, tanks, jets, whatever you want. And in dogfights it's really handy as you can see uh, let's see this. Uh, you can see what direction the enemy com is coming in. Incoming rockets are as well visible as little bleeping dots on your radar. Uh, and yes, the flares are as well a secondary defense measure against rockets if you cannot turn sharply to avoid them fast enough. Uh, the uh, about turning. If you turn too early, the missile will just curve inwards and catch you while you're already on the 180 degree turn. Or if you do too late, the missile will strike and you'll lose uh, 45 points damage uh, for all types of aircraft. This will, however, not disable you, and disabling is 49 points or lower. Uh, and that you can, uh, as it's really hard to just land the jet in, in the middle of a combat, uh, yeah, in the battlefield. Uh, the extinguisher per, uh, extinguisher per, per geez, got caught influence. Uh, the extinguisher is really handy, as, uh, you can just heal yourself in midair, only the problem is rockets will just gut your ass faster than you can count them. Um, my tactic for it is stay as high as you can without stalling. Watch your radar for incoming hostiles and make sure your target is spotted when you go into a dive. Uh, with, if you have rockets, just full auto them. So y the enemy cannot use uh, like tanks boost to just drive away and all your rockets hit the, uh, hit, the hit the ground. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, you I personally use the, uh, the cannon only for uh, anti uh, anti air usage as uh, it. 
it's it's not effective neither on the Hornet or the Su-35. Uh, as in Battlefield, it's just like real life, the bullets are not as powerful as those of the A-10 and Su-39. Um, if possible, dive from the highest possible altitude, hit the brakes, keep the brakes pressed, and uh, use the left stick on the Xbox 360 PS3 and I got no uh, AMD keys I believe on the PC to um, sort of fine ch uh, fine tune your aim to hit the back of the tank and uh, hopefully score a fast kill as if you keep the gas gas pressed you'll crash in the ground because pulling up not not as easy with the lampposts which are indestructible and will even if you just hit the hit your hit the hit the lamppost with the wing of your aircraft it will just blow smithereens uh, now going on to the FA-18 Hornet it's an American multi-role fighter jet the max altitude is, is the exact same as the, uh, that of the Su-35 B infantry 900 meters the uh, max speed is the exact same around 400 miles per hour um, which is again not, not accurate at all it's armed with a 20mm M61 Vulcan minigun with 150 rounds and after full auto needs to cool down at the exact same length as the suit 35BM Blankery. Uh, all the other stats are exactly the same as the Russian suit 35. Uh, my recommendation for the loadout is the guided missiles as the rockets are uh, less useful on the Hornet uh, because the Hornet has let's say um, a bigger uh, inaccuracy as you can see with the left stick. Uh, it's, it's more loose you can say. So the chances of you not hitting are a lot, a lot bigger. So the guide missile just stay really high, not too high, as the rocket, rocket cannot lock on from too high of a distance. Uh, make sure you tap the brakes while launching, because you still have control of the aircraft, but you can't see straight ahead. So if you're low, you'll crash into a building or something, and then you're down at zero. Um, and that was it for the FA-18. For both of those attack, attack jets, um, don't go and hog the plane for like a million runs. If if you're like you used you used it twice and you crashed or let somebody else have a go, because it's really annoying if people go for a 15-20 minute run not dying at all because they're not attacking or not helping their team uh, or not even gaining air superiority. So just just knock it off. Don't don't be too hogging. Uh, oh, seven minutes already. That's uh, a long time. The Su-25 or Su-39. Um, uh, this plane and the A-10 both spawn only on rush uh, modes on maps like Karg Island, uh, Caspian Border, Operation Firestorm. I believe only three. Uh, yeah. Um, it's it's a Russian close air support weapon, of a weapon airplane with extreme powerful cannon and heavy armor. It's it's known for its durability. Uh, it's not as fast as the F-18 or Su-35, I believe, but it compensates with heavy firepower from the cannon and its survivability. It's more agile than the A-10, as my personal feeling is, because uh, just if you know how to use the brake and the gas, it turns on a dime and it's extremely maneuverable. The plane, this plane and the A-10 both do not have afterburners. The F-A-18 and the Su-35, well, um, both do, which you can use on takeoff to just press the afterburner, gas, nose up, and you're gone. Because if somebody goes in from the back, you're you're dead as a dodo. It's armed with a GSH 30-2 uh, mil uh, 30 millimeter auto cannon with 250 round magazine. Uh, this is the exact same gun as on the Su-35 BM, but it does a heck of a lot more damage. Uh, Su-35, I believe, and both the F-18 Hornet need what is it, four or five passes full on the frontal armor, and Su-25, uh, 39, and the A-10 both need only one or two passes if you know how to hit them. Uh, my recommended loadout for this one is kind of defensive and uh, attacking at once. It's the flares with the air radar, which is all planes, it's easy. But you can use either the belt speed or the heat seekers. Um, well, the belt speed is if you're doing a strafing run on full brakes and you're low, your plane goes practically into a stall. So 
can really dump out magazine after magazine, even though it's not a magazine. I got no idea what it actually is. Um, and the heat seekers, because the cannon's power enough, powerful enough to take down everything on the ground, but you're vulnerable up in the air, so a, a slightly faster kill time for the uh, airs, uh, for the air, like the A10. Well, only the A10 actually uh, is a lot. It's a lot handier. The A10 now, the A10 Warhawk is an American close air support plane with an extremely deadly Gauwe Avenger minigun. It's the biggest gun ever mounted on any plane in the world. Uh, and the GAU-8 Avenger fires 30mm rounds with depleted uranium in them, which have such a high kinetic energy alone that it can pierce the battle tank, uh, battle tank in any any place purely by the kinetic energy, as the depleted uranium is extremely dense and fired at such a high rate that the uh, plane actually uh, goes slower by it. It fires at 4200 rounds a minute, and if you hit the top of the tank or the rear, it's literally one and a half seconds or a second it's dead, depending on what side you hit him. Um, try to hit all the tanks with the assault planes, as I call them, the, like the Super 39 and the A10. If you hit them, don't try to hit them at an angle, because uh, I'll show you a chart in a minute. The tank has a lower damage uh, figure if you hit him from, uh, let's say, a 45 degree angle uh, compared to the 90 degree angle, because 90 degree it's dead on and pierces the armor. It's not, uh, not as thick uh, as on a 45 degree angle. So try to hit him as straight possible. Uh, the A10 is purely cast playing close as sport. Just wreck havoc on the ground, use the cannon as much as you can to suppress and take down tanks, and um, you can also use the A-10 with non-lock-on abilities, such as the EMC pod, which uh, makes you impossible to lock on for 6 seconds from the moment of activation, and the, uh, what is it, uh, I believe it's below radar, is that permanent upgrade, which lower than 20 meters, I believe, is extremely hard to get, uh, use, uh, like fly there. But it's impossible for uh, someone to lock you on from that uh, that lower altitude. Um, you can just strafe run and nobody will lock you on and just fly away, wait for it to reload and repeat. Um, now onto the HUD, it has uh, a little plus sign with a little dot in the center where the gun is aimed. Um, you need to lead targets if a tank is moving, let's say, uh, to the west, just random figure, and your plane is coming in from the east, don't you know your aim is coming in from the east, you need to lead about half a tank in front. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But um, with these strafing runs, just don't, not like in real life, just activate your gun in front and at the back of the tank and just pass over it because it's not real life. It's it doesn't take it down in one two bullets. Um, aim for the rear, that's the primary. Just aim for the rear, and if you're in a dogfight, just persistence is key. Persistence is really the key. Just keep, let's say, if you if you, if somebody's coming in from your left, just turn left and hold the hold back the gas on uh, back. Just act, uh, fully put your yeah put your finger on the gas and just turn 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 until the other guy gets pissed off. Just turns it in the other direction and just. Bam, you go after him, shoot him down. I'll show you a couple of pros of that. Well, I hope you guys like this tutorial, and please subscribe, comment, rate, and if you have any requests for video tutorials, please uh, just send me a private message or uh, a reaction on this video. Thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.